It's not uncommon for a popular reality TV personality to engage in acts that haven't been thought through really well, but serving prison time isn't what most would specify as customary in that line of work. Jorge Nava had the misfortune of finding out what it's like to live behind bars, as opposed to in front of the camera lens. It suffices to say that his life wasn't easy prior to the conviction, and a lot of his troubles were, for better or for worse, documented in TLC's 90 Day Fiancé. While most of the couples in the series had at least somewhat of a wholesome story, the same can't be said for Jorge Nava and Anfisa Arkipchenko, who at the time were 27 and 20 years old respectively. Although there isn't any real evidence for this claim, many fans are certain that Jorge would have been much better off after the show had he had a less money-oriented partner. Without a doubt, Anfisa's materialistic fascination left most wondering why Nava even tolerated such a greedy and vacuous personality in the first place. Thus, to understand what brought Jorge to court later on, it's important to understand the story that pushed him towards such incidents. Jorge and Anfisa never would have met, considering the fact that she's from Russia, had he not noticed her revealing pictures on Facebook by accident. Arkhipchenko was born on 4 September 1995, into a modest Russian family that had little to offer in the way of glamour and prestige, something she had her sights set on from early childhood. Her luck would change for the better when someone who at least appeared wealthy took an interest in her physique, which would have been the Californian entrepreneur, Jorge Nava. Although not exactly a millionaire by definition, Jorge was able to afford a semi-lavish lifestyle, having himself grown up in a relatively affluent family. It's unclear whether Nava was using his parents' money to fund his relationships with women who shared Anfisa's interests, but it can't be denied that he was able to keep paying for the various wants and needs that his Russian bride-to-be would come up with. There was a limit, however, perhaps on the credit cards he was using. As a result, Anfisa couldn't exactly have every single thing she wanted, such as a $10,000 handbag. Jorge's failure to provide her with this particular item caused a rift in their relationship, leading Arkhipchenko to go back on the previously agreed plans, which was to come and live with him in the U.S. Prior to settling down together, the two went on a costly vacation across Europe. It's unknown how many pricey gifts Nava afforded Anfisa throughout that time, but his reluctance to buy the handbag made her cancel the couple's remaining flights. She outright refused the idea of trying to reach a compromise, deciding instead to abandon the relationship and return to Russia. Unsurprisingly to most fans, it didn't take long for Anfisa to get bored of her same old rural Russian lifestyle, and she eventually found it in her heart, or perhaps her handbag, to forgive Jorge's transgression of not spending exorbitant amounts of money on someone who isn't even his wife. She let him know that he had another chance at giving up his wallet, and Nava was just happy that he could yet again use federal paper to make up for his other apparent deficiencies. The two reunited, and Anfisa finally came to the US, at which point they were featured in 90 Day Fiancé. Their presence in the show was chaotic, to say the least, with Anfisa's behavior becoming so erratic at times that one had to wonder whether they were watching reality TV or a horror film. Since Jorge had previously pleaded guilty to marijuana trafficking, most landlords found it unacceptable to rent him their property. So Nava mostly lived out of hotels, and Anfisa really didn't like that. She often criticized him for even the tiniest of issues, and Jorge's mother, of course, found her son's life to be unbearably stressful. With the young Russian having nothing nice to say about Jorge's family, and the feeling being mutual on the other side, it seemed for most of the series that Nava was the one holding everything together, taking his partner's unnecessary aggression and his family's excess worry upon his shoulders pretty much every single day. Many viewers wondered how anyone at all would want to remain engaged to such an ungrateful and spoiled person as Anfisa. While Jorge simply tried to make the most out of any situation, constantly apologizing and complying with his fiancé's almost every desire. As Anfisa grew more and more tired with the fact that they couldn't settle at a single location, she pushed further for Nava to obey her commands. There was another problem, however, and it was more of a psychological nature. 
Due to Jorge's wealthy appearance, as well as his tendency to flaunt his supposed wealth, certain shady characters caught wind that he might have some cash laying around, eventually breaking into his old apartment and robbing him blind of all valuable possessions. Since then, he'd been extra cautious about keeping his life in just one permanent place, leading to an inconsistent hotel-to-hotel -hotel residency that was really getting on his future wife's nerves. Nava's failure to fulfill every single wish that Anfisa would conjure up resulted in the Russian being quite unhappy, showing most of the time that she's agitated with the simple fact that Jorge exists. Quite the opposite of love, some would say, but Jorge begged to differ. He described her as a solid and stable individual whom he loved relying upon, explaining that he liked a strong woman who isn't afraid to speak up. Naturally, there's a limit to how strong one should realistically be in a two-way relationship, but alas, only Nava knows what's best for him, but obviously not. Even with Jorge appreciating the way she treated him, Anfisa had been ready to leave him on numerous occasions. She threatened almost every single day that she would disappear from his life if he didn't comply with this or that request, engaging in what most have called severe emotional manipulation. In the end, Jorge would always succumb to her demands, allowing the young model wannabe to take whatever she wanted from him. It was never enough, however, and Anfisa's behavior grew more violent and unreasonable by the episode. It was revealed by Jorge himself not too late into the relationship that Anfisa has been breaking phones that he spent a lot of money on, which was only one of the many ways the young Russian would relieve herself of aggression and other negative emotions. Without exception, her future husband and his wallet were the punching bags. Jorge's mother was understandably enraged with her son's fiancé, directly accusing her of spreading her legs whenever Jorge threw money at her. This caused the Russian to get up from her seat and leave the place where she met Mrs. Nava, storming out in yet another rage, which Jorge alone would later suffer for. Just like Jorge, fans more often than not had no idea how to make sense of what Anfisa was requesting. Seeing as she would kick Jorge out of the small apartment that they eventually moved into, and then call him right back and scream because he isn't home. The calls were torturous, to put it mildly, as no matter what Jorge said, it just wouldn't be right or enough. It didn't matter whether he complied with what Anfisa was asking, or simply opted for outright refusal, the young Russian's reaction was just about the same every time, involving only more screaming and offensive language all of which Jorge was absorbing like a sponge for the sake of their future marriage. The aforementioned video shows the Russian calling him incessantly, and each time he would reply, she would just utter a single question and hang up. Nava described her as very controlling, detailing how she always had to know where he was just to make sure that he wasn't potentially spending his money on a different woman. Even after Jorge promised that he would immediately come back, Anfisa kept screaming now at the top of her lungs, screeching into the microphone until her throat gave out. Most fans took Nava's side in the many conflicts that were seen throughout the show, agreeing with pretty much everything he had to say about his foreign fiancé. The same clip also shows one of the few times Nava stood his ground, at which point he told her he wasn't going to ruin his life just for her. Anfisa didn't say anything at all, but instead actually slapped her future husband. Finally, the two are seen in a luxury store, where Anfisa is asking for a very expensive dress. Jorge admits that he doesn't actually have $20,000 in cash that time around, to which Anfisa asks why he even brought her to the US in the first place. Then, as per usual, right after they go home that day, Anfisa would wake up the next and demand more things, forgetting wholeheartedly that she ever questioned whether they should remain together, as long as Nava is open to making more purchases on her behalf. Fans believe it was exactly this behavior that eventually pushed Jorge to make more money than he could at the time, leaving him no other option but to engage in illegal activities, such as drug trafficking. In other words, it's quite possible that Arkhipchenko made Nava go back to his former illegal habits. The consequences of Anfisa's overwhelming requests culminated on 15 February 2018, when Jorge violated the basic rules of traffic, possibly from driving under great amounts of stress. It was soon revealed why he wasn't having the most relaxed day behind the wheel, as the officers used their right to perform a routine search of the vehicle after having Nava pull over for an ID check. 
His vehicle was stacked to the brim with marijuana, which is only legal for medical purposes in the place where he was halted at Mogov County, Arizona. There was no talking his way out of the fact that he intended to sell this stock to recreational users, which is a severe crime in the state. He was found in possession of 293 pounds of marijuana, thus facing a potential prison term of over 25 years. He was charged with possession and transportation of marijuana with the intent to sell, but subsequently released on $25,000 bail. That wasn't the end of the ordeal, however, as he still had to face the court in due time. Nava found one of the best attorneys around, who managed to reduce his sentence from a Class II felony charge to a Class 4 one charge, thanks to another plea deal. In the end, Jorge ended up serving only two and a half years for a very serious law violation, which can almost be equated to coming out completely unscathed. Still, that wasn't enough for Anfisa, and she later filed for divorce. The Russian then used her 90-day fiancé fame to spread her name online, starting various social media profiles and a YouTube channel all of which she is still steadily growing in mid-2023. As for Jorge, he somehow lost over 128 pounds in prison and had something to look forward to upon coming out as well, as he started a relationship with actress Rhoda Blue soon after tasting freedom again. They ultimately married on 31 July 2022, four months after the birth of their second child, George, with their first, Zara, having been born in April 2021. Unconfirmed sources claim that Jorge's new net worth is somewhere around $1 million, suggesting that he's doing very well for his family after giving up crime for good. Regardless of the verity of that claim, it's been noted across media outlets that Nava and Blue is seem to be well off, lacking for nothing in particular. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.